This is Happy Half Hour, a Peoria Life web show brought to you by Enjoy Peoria. Hello and welcome to Happy Half Hour. On this week's show, we sit down with the Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum to talk about some of the fun stuff they have coming up. Later, we head out to Chillicothe and escape the hot temperatures at Shore Acres Pool. We will also fill your free time with some amazing events coming up this week. So sit back, relax, and have some fun with us on Happy, Happy Half Hour. Stay tuned. Hey, do you like coupons? Do you like discounts? Do you like saving money? Then check out the 2018-2019 Enjoy Peoria Coupon Book. It is filled with a ton of coupons from area attractions, restaurants, stores, and more. And the book is free. Mind blown. Stop by our office to pick up your book now or check them out on our website, enjoypeoria.com. Head over to East Peoria's Levy District. This vibrant addition to downtown East Peoria is a destination for shoppers and foodies alike. If you've worked up an appetite, stop in at Jersey Mike's, Red Robin, or Crust Pizza. The Levy District is right off of the River Trail, which means you have access to nearly anywhere in East Peoria from your city cycle bike. Do you want to find out more about what's going on in the Peoria area? Well, check us out at enjoypeoria.com. Welcome back to Happy Half Hour. One of my favorite places to send families to the Peor is to the Peoria Playhouse Children's Museum. They have a ton of fun stuff for kids to enjoy. But let's be honest, adults can enjoy it too. <laughs> Joining us more to talk about the, P the Playhouse is director, director excuse me, Rebecca Schulman hertz Rebecca, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me on today. The Playhouse just celebrated its 30th anniversary in June. For those who haven't visited yet, what's there? So we are located in Glen Oak Park. Mm -hmm. We're in the building that used to be the Park District Administrative Offices, the Glen Oak Pavilion. And when you walk inside, there are six interactive exhibitions. Most of them are themed around Peoria. So we have a water table that's programmed to be like the Illinois River. And we have, yeah, um, we have a farm area and we have a construction area. Um, we have an area that people love called motion commotion with lots of balls and wind tubes. And that's one space that really is appealing to older kids. Um, we have a maker space where kids can learn carpentry and build things. Oh, fun. It's great. Um, right now we have an exhibition up that was created by Bradley's Art in the Environment students. It's called Journey to the Sea, and it's in our sand porch area, and it's transformed it into an underwater environment where kids can imagine diving into the ocean and can learn all about the impact of plastics on our ocean. Oh, wow. So we have these six great exhibits, and then we have lots of programs as well. That's wonderful. It sounds really educational and interactive. Uh, what is the mission of the Playhouse? The mission of the Playhouse is to help children become explorers and creators of the world. And we take this really seriously. Everything we do, we think about how can we have kids really be active explorers and also innovators and creators. So, for example, in our real tools area, our carpentry area, we never say, make this. We give people suggestions and they're open-ended, meaning that kids can find their own solution to the problems. Oh, that's great. Uh, the Playhouse is located in Glen Oak Park. What will people find in the park when they visit the Playhouse? Glen Oak Park is a great place to go for the day. We are right next to the Peoria Zoo, mm -hmm. um, which of course has wonderful animals, um, giraffes and lions and more. They are open year round. Um, they have a space where you can buy lunch. Um, and we're also right near Luthi Botanic Garden, which is sort of uh, back on the other side of, of Glen Oak Park mm -hmm. and is free. Uh, memberships are also available and has beautiful plants. It's a, it's a perfect size botanic garden and it's also got some lovely little sculptures in it as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, you're here today to specifically tell us about the Playhouse's Artist in Residence program. What is this? So uh, we have an artist in residence coming to the Playhouse in late July. Her name is Rini Charrier, and what it means that she'll be in residence is that she will be creating a work of art on the Playhouse porch. Mm -hmm. um, it's an installation piece, which means it's made for a specific space, and she will be inviting visitors to help her make it. So the piece is called Magic Carpet. Um, Rini, who is coming to us from San Francisco, makes her art out of recycled materials. So in this case, we're using plastic bags, which the Playhouse is collecting right now. So if anyone has piles of plastic bags left from the grocery store or other stores and you don't know what to do with them at home, come drop them off at the Playhouse. They're all under your sink. They're all under, under your, your sink. sink. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so bring them to the Playhouse anytime we're open. Um, Rini will be taking these plastic bags and cutting them into strips and transforming them into 
um, a material much like what kids make paper chains out of, mm -hmm. and then working with visitors to make basically a multi-dimensional paper chain that will become sort of this fabric that will hang from the playhouse oh, porch. Wow. That's great. And kids can join her in, and parents, mm -hmm. visitors of any age can join her in um, helping to create this installation for the playhouse porch, which we hope will stretch the, the full side of this very large porch, but we need everybody's help to do that. And um, they can also make their own art or wearable art to take home with them. Okay. Um, we invite adults uh, to sign up in groups, or anyone with kids too, but to sign up in um, groups of up to 10 to sign up for a two-hour slot to come help Rini. So that's a great team-building activity um, for, for example, a work group as well. Yeah. Um, and this all takes place between July 23rd and August 3rd, uh, all the times that we're open except Tuesday mornings, which are members only. Mm -hmm. um, and then it will culminate on August 3rd from 5 to 8 with a First Friday event where we invite everybody to come free of charge and see what Rini has done and enjoy the Playhouse. That's amazing. A lot Thank of information you. there. Um, is there anything else people should know on how to participate? Um, again, so there's these three ways to participate. Come when we're open anytime except Tuesday morning between um, July 23rd and August 3rd and help Rini make this fantastic piece. Um, you can participate by bringing in your plastic bags anytime before the 23rd. You can participate by signing up in a team of up to 10 to come for a specific slot. Um, and then you can participate by coming and seeing the final piece on First Fridays. Great. Thanks for that so. recap. Um, what are some other programs coming up in Glen Oak Park that our viewers might want to know about? Yeah, so um, there are uh, adult nights coming up at the Zoo and Botanic Garden on Friday 27th. So you can come to the Zoo and the Botanic Gardens and adults can enjoy a night out with an adult beverage. Um, <laughs> Love those. Always good. <laughs> um, and the same night, actually, there's a wine and nine night at Madison Golf Course, which is also part of the Park District, of mm -hmm. course. Um, so you can do, you can golf nine holes of golf um, and you can have beer and wine samples on the course and then that's followed by a dinner with drinks. Um, and then the following, no, two months later, I do want to let you know about an event happening at the Playhouse on September 28th. Great. So I know this is a long time from now, but. Sorry, um, get your calendars out. Get your calendars out, mark them for late September. Um, the Playhouse has an event, an annual event called Be Anything. Mm -hmm. So Be Anything is an event where we um, help kids learn about careers and all the things they can be. It's sort of part of our mission of helping kids be creators of the world is letting them know all the careers that they can do when they grow up. And so it starts on September 23rd on that Sunday um, from 2 to 4 with a preview event where we'll have about 15 different professionals at the Playhouse with booths showcasing what they do. So. Um, for example, last year we had a fire truck and we had an ambulance That's and we funny. had police teaching fingerprinting um, and then inside we had a dentist and we had nurses and we had uh, 3D printers and we had um, sports coaches and we had naturalists. We have all sorts of um, of representatives of different careers throughout the Playhouse, and that on the 23rd is um, free with, in, uh, with admission or membership. Okay. And it also kicks off an auction. So we have an online auction from the 23rd to the 28th mm -hmm. where people can um, bid on a career experience special for their children. So you get an oh, hour great. or more with a professional and something your kid's interested in. So you might, for example, want to bid on be a baker with Tresker's Bakery or be a EMT with AMT. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's about 60 different options. And then it culminates um, with an evening event for adults uh, at Trailside on September 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Really now, fun. with the uh, Trevstores Bakery, does it come with baked goods? Because that's important. I believe that the kid gets to to eat some baked goods. Oh, yeah, that's they get great. to make some baked goods too. <laughs> it's awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, in our last Happy Half Hour with the Peoria Park District, Executive Director Emily Cahill mentioned some interesting programs that were recently introduced, including those adult nights that you've spoken about already. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed there are a few coming up at the zoo and at Lithium Bot Botanical Gardens. Mm -hmm. um, what is the adult nights concept, and will there be any at Glen Oak Park coming up soon? Yeah, so that's the July 27th evening that I mentioned mm -hmm. is at the zoo and Luth. So it's mm -hmm. nice that they you, you can attend both together, explore Luthi if you haven't been there, or the zoo if you haven't been there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's basically an evening where you can walk around the zoo, walk around Luthi, have a drink, um, mm -hmm. enjoy adult company. I know often people will feel that the zoo or the playhouse is for kids, but really they're for adults as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
So we are experimenting with adult nights throughout the park district. So you can look at peoriaparks.org, and you can also see um, our adult nights at golf courses and other facilities throughout the park district. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the Peoria Playhouse, head over to their website. That's peoriaplayhouse.org. Stay tuned. More Happy Half Hour ahead. Get out your calendars. We're about to fill your free time. Are you a wino, an art aficionado, or both? Then you have to head out to Mackinac Valley Vineyard July 15th for the Art and Wine Festival. This event features local and regional artisans selling their art. Enjoy great wine, live music, and even activities for the kids. Visit the Mackinac Valley Vineyard website to learn more. Head out to historic Washington Square July 19th for Summer on the Square. This event will showcase some of the amazing shops, restaurants, and attractions you can find on the square. Enjoy great food and music. The best part? Many businesses on the square will stay open late. Head over to enjoypeoria.com for more information. The Tailgate and Tall Boys Music Festival returns to the Peoria Riverfront with the second weekend of acts July 20th and the 21st. Enjoy music from the Charlie Daniels Band, Sawyer Brown, Whitey Morgan, Cody Jeeks, and many more. Want tickets? Head on over to enjoypeoria.com for more information as well as hotel reservation information. Do you like barbecue? Then head down to the Peoria Riverfront July 20th and 21st for the Central Illinois Barbecue Throwdown. This is a KCBS barbecue competition that also features food vendors, a beer garden, and top-notch entertainment. This event is free to check out, but you will need to buy tickets to enjoy some of the award-winning barbecue. Visit the Central Illinois Barbecue website for ticket information. Christian music star Lauren Daigle brings her inspirational music to the Peoria Civic Center July 21st. In three years, Daigle has developed into one of the leading voices in Christian music and has received a number of recognitions. This show is one you will not want to miss. Looking for more fun events? Head on over to our website, enjoypeoria.com, or visit us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at enjoypeoria. Welcome back to Happy Half Hour. Summer is here and so are the hot temperatures, but that shouldn't stop you from enjoying the outdoors. There are a number of ways to cool off on a hot day, and one great option is right here at Shore Acres Park in Chillicothe. And joining me more to talk about the Chillicothe Park District is Executive Director Kevin Yates. Kevin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for coming to visit us. So tell us about Shore Acres Pool. What does it offer? Sure, uh, Shore Acres Pool was remodeled in 2007. We have two large water sides that you see behind us. We have a children's activity zero depth pool with a nice play structure in it, diving well, uh, and we're open seven days a week. That's fantastic. This is a this is a huge pool. It's a really nice area. How many people can you guys have in here comfortably in a day? Sure, we can accommodate about 600 people. Uh, you know, on busy days we'll get close to seven, uh, but we you know it's kind of nice on those cloudy days too when things yeah. aren't so crowded and you can really enjoy our activities. When did your season start, and what are your what are your daily hours? Sure, we are open 12 to 6, uh, seven days a week, weather permitting, of course. Uh, we open on Memorial Day weekend, and then we close the Saturday before school starts here in Chillicothe, and this year that's August 11th. Um, do you guys ever open up for private events or anything like that? Is that an option? Yeah, absolutely. We do offer private rentals on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings in July. Okay. Um, the other evenings during the week, we offer swimming lessons and some of those activities and, that you can sign up for. But Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays in July, uh, we do offer private rentals. Awesome. I know you mentioned the swimming lessons. What other kind of programs do you guys offer here? Sure. Uh, one of the activities going on right now over there in the kiddie pool, we have toddler time, uh, which is for uh, kids under the age of five and their parents. That's only $2 per adult. Uh, and that runs for four weeks during the summertime. You can check our Facebook page or website for those dates. Uh, we offer swimming lessons. Uh, we have a, uh, a yoga class that sometimes we'll meet out here at the pool. Um, and then we have some Tai Chi classes that will sometimes come out here during the pool. So, you know, it just kind of depends on the day and, and the time frame and the weather. And we try to adapt as many activities as we can around the pool. That's awesome. I mean, having, I mean, it feels like we have a giant water feature behind us right now with the, with the water slide. So I sure, I'm sure the yoga classes and Tai Chi are, are super relaxing out here. Um, you know, there's been a lot of facilities in the area that have closed lately. Have you seen a, an increase in, in pool participants here? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we offer some very unique features to some of the pools that are still open in the community. Uh, so we, we definitely have. When the weather is right, uh, we say we're right. And, and we get a lot of people from all over central Illinois. Uh, I was talking to a group that came to visit us from El Paso the other day. Uh, we have several day camps and groups that will come from Tazewell and all over Peoria County. So 
uh, we hit a pretty wide base of uh, customers for sure. That's fantastic. Um, so there's a lot of parents and kids over there today. What should parents remember when, when at a public pool and keeping kids safe and that sort of thing? Sure. Um, one of the things that we really get a little misconceptions on, uh, the lifeguards and what their duties are. You know, the lifeguards are here to you know, respond to an emergency situation. They're here to enforce our rules. Um, but for parents, it's really important that they keep an eye on their little ones when they're at the pool. Exactly. It, it can be a challenge sometimes, and I get it, you know, being a parent myself, you want to relax when you come to the pool, but if, you're, if your little ones are in that, you know, under five age group, you really have to stay on top of that, and, and that really helps us out a lot. Yeah. Well, and that goes back to the swimming lessons. What ages do you guys do swimming lessons for? Because I've seen, like, they, I mean, they do swimming lessons for almost infants now, but what do you guys offer? Yeah, absolutely. We're right in that group, uh, starting at age one. Uh, we have from one to four year olds, we offer a, a adult and toddler class where an adult is in the water with the toddler being led by our instructors. Uh, you can also do private rentals from age four um, through adult. And then we offer group swimming lessons for age four, uh, five through adult. Uh, and our second session of that will start uh, next week. Awesome. Awesome. Um, what, kind of, what kind of challenges do you guys face as a public pool? Sure, the, number one is the weather. Uh, you know, it's, it's really hard. Uh, when you can't control something to plan around it. Um, so the weather is an issue for us. When it's like today, obviously it's no problem, but those days where storms may be coming in in the afternoon or you know the temperatures are gonna be high as 72, you know, those are challenging days for us. Um, and then the season, we would like to extend it a little longer, uh, but 99% of our staff are either students or teachers themselves. So we're kind of locked into that school schedule. Uh, and a lot of the public doesn't always understand that. You know, they remember when we were open till Labor Day or things along those lines, but that's when school started at Labor Day. So those are pretty much our two biggest challenges. And then we also want to make sure everybody has a good, safe experience at our facility. Uh, so sometimes, depending on the size of the crowd or things like that, that can be a challenge for us. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, what, else, what, do you, what do people need to bring can they, when they come to the pool for a day? Can you bring in like a drink or do you guys offer concessions? Absolutely. We offer a full service concession stand. Uh, you are allowed to bring water with you. Uh, we do not allow any coolers or anything like that. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes people will bring unauthorized yeah. items in those coolers. So uh, any food and drink we ask that you purchase here. Uh, one recommendation they make to a lot of people, we do have a 26 acre park here, lots of picnic tables. So come bring your lunch, eat your lunch, and then come visit us at the pool. We'll allow you to go in and out if you want to have a snack later or something like that. But once you're inside the doors, we just ask that you use our services for that. Awesome. Um, for a day at the pool, I mean, can, do you guys, are floats allowed? I mean, do you guys have like stuff to go down the water slide or is that a, is that a tube water slide or just body? Absolutely. You're more than welcome to bring anything that's Coast Guard certified. Okay. So life jackets, nothing that uh, inflates. Okay. So inflatables are not allowed at all. It can interfere with our lifeguards and seeing what's below them and things like that. Um, we have life jackets are available to rent. The slides themselves are body slides, so nothing is needed to go down them. Uh, the only thing to safely go down them, we ask that the individuals are three foot six inches tall. We've got a little line at the bottom. We want you to be able to stand up when you hit the bottom and be out of the water. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, you know, essentially all you need is a few dollars to get in the door and a nice sunny day like today and you're ready to go. Do you guys do season tickets? Can you do a season pass holder? Sure, we do VIP passes, what we call them, that allows you to get into the facility uh, five minutes early so you can grab your chair in your prime location. Um, and what that is is 20 entries into the pool. If you purchase that preseason, uh, it averages out to about $3 each entry. You can still purchase them in season and save a little bit of money, but it comes out to about $4 an entry if you purchase them now and that gets you 20 entries. So you and I could come together and that'd be two punches on the card or myself, I could use it 20 times. Just depends on how you want to use it. Um, very important question. Are, are you allowed to cannonball into the public pool? Absolutely, if you'd like to give it a shot. I, I, <laughs> if I stay out here any longer, I might. Um, well, where can we find out all of the information about, about the pool, time, um, fees, that sort of thing? Absolutely, the Chillicothe Park District uh, website, which is www.chillicotheparkdistrict.org, has all of the information on there. Chillicothe Facebook page, um, can be found pretty easily. All of our events are listed there. Uh, we try to keep up on top of that, uh, you know, almost daily. I'm, I'm changing things and, and maneuvering, so. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us out today, Kevin. We're going to get out of here because I'm guessing people are going to be breaking down the gates to get in. It's a scorcher today. So thank you so much, and we'll be right back with more Happy Half Hour.
Let's go for a bike ride. Check out City Cycle, the Peoria area's bike share program, brought to you by Enjoy Peoria and powered by Zagster. City Cycle has bike stations located in six different spots. Membership is super affordable, and riding the bikes is so easy. All you do is download the Zagster app, choose your bike, unlock, ride, and return to any of the stations. Want to try it out? Visit Ride City Cycle on Facebook for more. Welcome back to Happy Half Hour, or Coffee Talk with Casey and Ashley. We're like butter. We're like butter. <laughs> just kidding. We were just talking, though, about um, my weekend plans, because I had kind of a cool experience this weekend. I got to be one of the judges at the Chopped cooking competition at um, the Riverfront Market. I love Chopped. I love Chopped. It's such a good I show. I know. It's addictive. You can sit there, and hours will go by, and I've eaten like an entire bag of chips. I know. I know. I mean, after it, I was so motivated that now in my household, I told my husband once a week, you present me with a mystery ingredient, and then I will be forced to go to the grocery store in 20 minutes, come back and dazzle you. Wait, you have to get to the grocery store and back? Unfortunately, my husband's mystery, mystery ingredient will probably just be like bacon every time. Right. Or a frozen pizza. He's really into frozen pizza. So less exciting. Our, let's get our husbands together and make yeah, them cook for us. Yeah, like that's a good idea. idea. But yeah, the chops, it was really cool because they have to use all ingredients that they find at the Riverfront Market. Oh, cool. <clears throat> so not only was it fun to watch, but also it's kind of like, oh, that's a good idea. I can go and buy, what was it? Squash blossoms. Yeah. I like a good squash blossom, but I've only ever had a stuffed squash blossom. So he was like cutting it up and using it to make like a pico de gallo. There was all sorts of fun recipes. It was really cool. And it's all um, chefs from the area. Okay. So they have this competition a few times a month. And each time one of the chefs gets to move forward okay. to the next competition. And then they have the final chopped competition. But That's it was so cool. And I got to, you know, eat delicious food. And it's a really great way to, like, promote those vendors it in is. addition. Because people that are there watching it, exactly. like, hey, where did you get those right. squash blossoms? Exactly. Where did those squash <laughs> blossoms come from? And what did you do with that, that apricot preserve? And there were mm. all sorts of, like, interesting ways that kind of make you get outside of the box. And it was really gorgeous weather this weekend, perfect. too. So it that was. helps. It wasn't one of those 90 degree scorchers. Right. So, at yeah. eight in the morning. At eight in the morning. Yeah. It was beautiful. So it was a fun day. But if anything can make me go out into 90 degree weather at eight in the morning, it's food. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent. Yes. hundred percent. So yeah, I, I was there rain or shine. I was, I, I was ready with, I'd been watching a lot of chops. So I was ready with my like constructive criticism, but yeah. it's really good Just criticism. Stern. Yeah. I've been yeah. criticizing everything. Criticize your lunch. Mm, Ashley, it's a little salty. I don't and I would have liked more vibrancy in the colors. I don't know why you have to come after <laughs> my lunch. <laughs> but it was fun. So if you haven't seen a chop competition, definitely get out there because they do yeah. um every time they do it, they pick they pre-pick two of the judges. Mm. But then the first forty people who are there, they get a ticket to try the food. Oh cool. And then they randomly draw one of the other people and they get to be a chop judge too. Oh, wow. So it was cool. I want to do that really yeah. bad. And it was fun to watch. Um, Chef Charles, he is, I think he's a secretary with the Heart of Illinois Chefs Association. He um, kind of led the talking and went around and like just, it was fun. It was just like, what's yeah. his name? Ted. 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 Just like oh, Ted. He did did he have job. like the killer suit? Like he Ted. did not have a killer suit. He actually had a really interesting um, Fourth of July themed t-shirt with cats. Huh. Not a killer suit, but a great outfit. Very memorable. You could say it was... Patriotic? Oh no? no? No. No. We will never sorry. say that. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I tried really hard. Oh, it was a good one. You're funny. You're a funny girl. Um, so that was last weekend. Yes. What are you doing this weekend for the viewers? Well, for the viewers. So they can come hang out with you. <laughs> um, well, Mackinac Valley Vineyard has their arts and wine festival. So all They're... weekend long, um, live music, mm -hmm. art, wine. wine. I love their wine, too. I know. It's really good. And it's just a cool venue. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to Ravinia in like outside of Chicago no okay it kind of reminds me of that it's where you think in Ravinia I was like, thinking, thinking I was like, really yeah. fancy I was like, like, like are you saying that fancy because we're on camera right now <laughs> no it's so it's um it's just like a huge outdoor venue where you can bring in a picnic basket with your own like meal and people just get nuts with it with like little tables and they'll set up like candles and chandeliers not a Ooh. chandelier there's nothing to hang it from but that kind of thing and that's kind of like, when you go to Mackinac, I always feel like that, where we just like lay out a big blanket and yeah. just like turn it into our little living room. Yeah. It's just fun. It's a fun way to experience. Yeah. One of my best friends actually got married out yeah. there. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous day. Super sunny. Wasn't yeah. too hot. And yeah, they had a wonderful it experience. Is. They do everything out there now. Actually, I had my wedding reception there. Oh, no kidding. And it was the opposite. It was 
a miserable cold and rainy day. Right. But still gorgeous. Filled they, with a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of love. <laughs> they have a, a new indoor venue where um, it's got like the garage doors all around it so you can still mm -hmm. see outside. And it was oh, kind of cool because, yeah, you felt like the storm was all around you, but right. not over. Not raining on our parade. It was all around you. Not yeah. over our joy, no. our joyful day. No. Yeah. Love it, it was pretty cool. But, yeah, I know. It's going to be fun. So go out there for some live music, mm -hmm. drink some wine, eat some cheese. Yeah. Have a cheese. Buy some art. And they always have, like, really cool artists out they there. They do. Like, super they do. unique mm -hmm. with a lot of stuff to purchase yeah. and put up on your walls. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah. What are you guys doing this weekend? Um, well, likely, because it's going to be really hot, you know, it's summer in Illinois, uh -huh. which is wonderful. It's it better is. than winter in Illinois for most. For sure. We'll likely have our daughter swimming a lot. She yeah. loves to be in the water. She loves to be playing Shark outside. Shark school, perhaps? Oh, yes. They've got that zero depth. It's great <laughs> for the do. little ones. They do. Um, did you know, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I don't have kids, but many of my friends do that I think it's every day during the week um, from, I think, 10 to 11, mm -hmm. they do Mommy and Me Time, um, which everybody should know because I think we just talked about it on the video. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's just for parents with little kids. They can come in just for that hour mm -hmm. and not have to worry about, you know, the big kids splashing around and pushing, trying to get down the slide. Just little kids get to yeah, that is toddle great. around. And, yeah, you know. I have a very little one, as yeah. you're well aware. She's a little over a year old. Yeah. But, yeah, that is great because any time you take – kids somewhere especially it's when they're really stressful. little like that yeah because there's the big kids and they want to run and yeah. jump and you know have a the day kids. i used to be that kid right? at the chili pool pushing the toddlers over. oh yeah just Jesus. knocking them over just right and left like godzilla <laughs> um but you know, <laughs> it is nice to have that time that's just you know for you just peaceful. your little ones and it's not peaceful no <laughs> by any means um but it's a maybe a little bit more, more peace organized there you go more yeah organized yeah by demographic yeah this is what we'll say we'll take it and then there's what else is going on this weekend there's always something <sighs> There's always something there's going always, on in Peoria. Peoria is great in the summertime. In the summer, yeah. There's the, going to be the, the farmer's market. Yes. You know, there's so much to do and see in the area. It's summertime in yes. central Illinois. What I love about the farmer's market, and I probably say this every time I talk about the farmer's market, mm -hmm. is every time you go, it's going to be a totally different, like, bounty. Yes, like, absolutely. At the beginning, there was, like, radishes for days. So mm -hmm. I had all sorts of radishes. And mm -hmm. last time I went, I got shishito peppers. Ooh, I mean, delicious. I love a shishito pepper. Yes. And it's hard to find. And our zucchini at home is starting to come yeah. in. So you're probably going to oh, start yeah. seeing a lot more zucchini and squash and that sort and of thing. And they had like yellow. They just always have different things. They had a yellow zucchini, mm -hmm. which I Yellow never, zucchini. I know. I, I was like, is this just a very yellow squash or what is this? Like, no, it's a yellow zucchini. Huh. It was delightful. Hmm. I bet it is. I love, I love a good zucchini. I know. Thank you, Farmer's Market. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> farmer's Market. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. So, check mm -hmm. out the Farmer's Market. Yeah. Riverfront Concert Series down at SEFQ Center Stage. Yes. Somebody's there. I'm not sure who this weekend. Do you know? Uh, I thought I saw something that Jay Goldberg had posted about this weekend down at the Riverfront. So, wow. check out Jay Goldberg. And well, you know what you can do, actually, because we're just about out of time. We sure are. To find out more information about any of these events that we've talked about, or if you're looking for something to do this weekend, mm -hmm. a new restaurant to try, head to enjoypeoria.com, or you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And Ashley, like my mother always says, if you're bored, it's because you're boring. Yes. So get out there and enjoy Peoria. Thanks for joining us. PeoriaLife.com.